the integral mode is used along with proportional in almost all loops. A proportional integral, or PI controller, uses the proportional and integral modes but does not use the derivative mode. PI control accounts for about 90% of the loops in a typical process plant. The PID blocks in digital controls provide all three modes. When a conscious decision has been made to not use the derivative mode, the designation PI is commonly applied. The basis for the integral mode is to change the controller output bias m sub r by a rate that is proportional to the control error e. This is expressed by a simple differential equation. The coefficient k sub i is a tuning coefficient known as the integral or reset gain. Integrating this differential equation gives the more common expression for the integral mode. The control output bias m sub r is the integral of k sub i e dt. For either equation, an initial condition is required. The initial value for the control output bias is the value m sub r zero computed from the bumpless transfer calculations. On a positive control error, the controller output bias increases. On a negative control error, the controller output bias decreases. The controller output bias is constant only when the control error E is zero. When the integral mode is present in a controller, the loop can only line out with the PV equal to the set point. This is true regardless of the value of the tuning coefficient for the integral mode. But let's be clear. The presence of the integral mode does not assure that a loop will line out. But if it does line out, the PV will be equal to the set point. Combining the integrated equation of the integral mode with the proportional plus bias equation for the proportional mode gives a PI controller. Many computational procedures use the individual equations for each mode. But when expressed in articles and books, the custom is to write a single equation. Combining the two equations gives a single equation with two terms. The proportional term is the controller gain times control error E. The integral term is the integral of k sub i E dt. Very few commercial control systems use the integral or reset gain k sub i for the integral mode tuning coefficient. This series of videos uses the integral time or reset time t sub i for the integral mode tuning coefficient. Also in common use is its reciprocal, the reset rate r sub i. Rewriting the control equation in terms of the reset time t sub i gives an equation with the controller gain k sub c in both the proportional term and the integral term. The customary equation for pi control is obtained by moving k sub c over t sub i through the integral and then factoring k sub c from each term. At first glance, the math looks good. However, the tuning coefficients k sub c and t sub i are not constants. We occasionally change the values of the tuning coefficients. As will be explained in a subsequent video, whether they are within the integral or outside the integral has consequences. Using the hot air furnace, we demonstrate that the integral mode eliminates offset and droop for both set point changes and disturbances. The tuning coefficients for the hot air temperature controller are a controller gain of 1.0 percent to percent and a reset time of 0.8 minutes. Switch the controller to auto. 
Change the set point from 210 to 220 degrees Celsius. The hot air temperature eventually lines out at the new set point. The set point changed by 10 degrees Celsius. The PV does likewise. Increase the opening of the fresh air damper from 60.8 to 65.8 percent open. This introduces a disturbance in the form of increased airflow or demand, which causes the hot air temperature to initially drop. With the integral mode in use, the controller increases the fuel valve opening sufficiently to return the hot air temperature to its set point of 220 degrees Celsius. Place the simulator in hold. The contribution of the integral mode is inversely related to the value of this tuning coefficient, the reset time T sub i. Consequently, the terms long and short are commonly used in lieu of large and small. To increase the contribution of the integral mode, the value of the reset time must be reduced or shortened. This suggests that the controller responds more rapidly, but there are limitations. When the value of the reset time is too long, the PV slowly approaches the set point. Often this is more evident in the response to the disturbance than in the response to the set point change. A reset time that is too short causes the integral mode to change the controller output bias too rapidly, the result being oscillations in the PV. Excessively short reset times result in unstable behavior. The cycles in the PV grow rather than decay. Better for the reset time to be too long than too short. Subsequent videos will examine other issues associated with the integral mode, including reset feedback, bumpless tuning coefficient adjustments, and reset windup. But we shall first complete the PID control equation. The next video introduces the derivative mode.